world. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day. Jessica Kirsch here, coming to you live from Brownsville, Texas, where the temperature is absolutely lovely. Hi, Daniel. All right, I'm just going to, I hope you can hear me okay. My headphones are windy, so I'm just going to back up and just show you something here. Hey, Nick Level. Welcome. Okay, I will do some more explaining of what's going on here in a little bit. I do want to make it to Starbase, and I do need to get some food before I feel like I'm going to pass out. Hi, Richard Stansberry. Hi, Charlie Carey, Stephen Lewis. Hello, everybody. All right, so right now, here's what we're looking at. Uh, this is a, it's called a, let's see, Brax, it's made by Braxton Creek. It's called a Bushwhacker Plus. This is a trailer that is being, it's for sale. It's in, for sale by somebody who works here at the park. The specifications, first of all, it was made in Shipshawana, Indiana. hey I'm from Indiana. Manufacturer date is March 2020. Uh, cannot exceed 1,095 pounds of cargo. It weighs, uh, let's see, 1361 kilograms, so 3,000 pounds, single axle. This is a trailer that my vehicle, should I lift it, lift the vehicle, or get bigger tires and or, uh, my vehicle would be able to tow. Uh, this is something I've been considering for a long, long while, not just this trailer, but a small trailer in general. And the reason being, um, and if you read the description, I wrote it all out, pretty much my thought process is if I were able to have a smaller trailer like this that I could tow with the Kona, uh, I would save, I would obviously there would be fuel costs because it would cost more money to tow the trailer with the vehicle. Eventually it will be an electric vehicle, but uh, anyways, but I would have lodging. So if I need to travel different places, for example, I've been wanting to go down to Cape Canaveral for uh, the Falcon Heavy launch, I had credentials for, media credentials. I had credentials for Artemis. I had credentials for another Falcon 9. Um, those are all things I would love to go to, but I don't. First of all, a flight is expensive. So if I drove, it would be it'd still be expensive, but I'd have somewhere to stay. Um, I could bring Mars. Um, I have seen pictures of the inside of this trailer. It does have a shower, um, toilet combined, so at least it, it would have like a minimum. I, I believe it, it has a sink, probably a microwave. Um, basically, it's just a bed on the inside of there and just basic, nothing fancy, nothing else is really inside of there. It's just a place to sleep. Um, it's got one propane tank on the front. And, uh, let's see. And here's the thing. I don't plan on selling my current trailer, uh, for the reasons of that trailer is paid for and I've, it's my home and I need that stability. So this would be something that I would purchase. Um, I would, I would, I've been considering different things to do to, um, earn the money for it. Um, all kinds of things I have in mind. So this would be something that I would pay cash for. She originally had it listed for $15,000 cash. That was last year. Uh, it still is here, so I'm not sure what exactly um, she would take in cash. But I would not sell my trailer. I need to have a home base. I need to have somewhere that is um, comfortable for me, at least not right now. So I just wanted to show you this. I wanted you to see that. This is something I've been considering. It's in my head and has been in my head. 
um, for not only for mental health purposes, the fact that I could travel away from here and not feel necessarily stuck uh, without having to rent a place to stay. Um, lodging, as we know, is expensive. Trailers are expensive. Everything is expensive. So it's all kind of relative. Too much money, obviously, yes. Uh, yes, it would be very tiny inside, absolutely. Um, the point of this trailer is not to live in. This, the point of this trailer is for travel purposes only. Um, this would not be for me to live in. This would be for Mars and I to travel uh, when there's periods of slowness here at Starbase, as you know, uh, there's 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 a lot of big channels covering everything on a 24/7 basis. Uh, sometimes I feel it's not in my best interest, in your best interest, for me to go out there and and expend the energy and the time and the money and all that good stuff to show you things that are out there that are being shown in high definition on other channels with bigger audiences. So. I figured while, think, while slowness is happening there, although I want to be there all the time, my mental health can't handle that. So if I were able to travel somewhere else, other places, um, give you a firsthand perspective live of wherever I am. Um, you know, I talk about hiking in the mountains all the time. Uh, that would be something that I would love to do. I'd love to take you on some hiking, uh, rock climbing, um, doing some things that keep me mentally sane. Uh, yeah, the, the robots can't interview. You're right. You're absolutely right. Um, but uh, in all honesty, I'm having a really hard time being out there um, and keeping motivated and interviewing, even interviewing people. I just, it's been really hard for me. Um, I've been in a really low state for a while now and I'm doing the best that I can to get myself out of that. And one of those things is I feel, I feel almost trapped here in Starbase. And I know that sounds bad because I have a, a place to live, but I feel since I can't tow the trailer that I live in, I feel stuck. And I don't like to feel stuck. Um, no one likes to feel stuck. I just, I, um, I want to be able to go and see and do and bring you content that that I would be excited about and you would be excited about as well, uh, something different. And yes, that means that my channel is going is going to pivot probably uh, as as this transition happens. But I've been considering this for over a year. It may not be this trailer. This trailer may be too big. Um, I may get something even smaller. I'm looking for bare minimum basics. Um, this would be a great start. Obviously, I don't have $15,000 cash, nor do I have $10,000 cash or $5,000 cash, uh, which I don't think she would accept. But I did. I just wanted to let you know and show you and just open, just have open the door to this thought process. Um, as you see here, the Kona would fit just fine on the hitch. However, the back wheel, the hub is almost touching the ground. That is because the gear that I carry inside of there is so heavy that it lowers the car. Also, the car was not meant to tow. Not sure if you knew that, but this car is not supposed to tow. In the United States, in the user manual, it says not recommended for towing. I, being the person that I am, um, installed, had a custom hitch installed and towed. I towed the, I call it the mini curse trailer, full uh, mini curse trailers, about 600 pounds, I think. And then it was full of the stuff that I brought down here. So um, it did tow. Uh, most people would say that's that, that's gonna break the car, hurt the car, whatever. The car has already the car has already been star based. Um, the car is meant to be driven, and I I just I'm not I can't limit myself to 
the user manual saying do not tow because I've got to get like I've got to do this for my own personal sake. But I just wanted to just kind of give you a walk around. Hi, Jack W. Hi, Shard Baby. Uh, let's see. So this is what it looks like. So basically, um, it's it's got really nice tires on it. Look at this. They're like brand new. And they look to be pretty beefy off-road. It's got a step ladder. Uh, it's got the door. Tomorrow, uh, the owner of the trailer said that she would get the keys and let me look inside of it. Once again, can you hear me okay, by the way? Hey, Holly. That is that just a minute of storage. Once again, this is not something. Hey, Moonbeam Bruce. I see your Kata. This is not something that I'm looking for living in permanently. This is a this is a travel trailer. Hey, hey, Space Girl Falcon. Hey, hey, hey. Audio is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Stewie. Okay, so obviously my car needs my car needs new tires it might need to be lifted i'm not sure this might be too big who knows i'm just kind of really to a point where i might explode if i'm not able to move around especially during the slow periods that um are happening right now thank you starbase today you need a schoolie like the ibus that's right what's up lynn thank you so much for the four dollars 99 cents you got, yeah, there is a toilet in it. Uh, yes, that's good because I'd rather have a toilet in it that I have to dump occasionally than use the uh, bucket that I use to pee in inside of my car when I'm at Starbucks. Lynn, I'm so glad you're here. So this looks like it would low, uh, raise and lower onto the hitch. Uh, there is one propane tank, which means that I would probably want to have one extra, but that would add weight. So one propane tank, I'm assuming that heats the water. So I, I would probably only use it for very rare occasions. It looks like there's two smaller batteries here, which is good, which would control lights. Um, I, there's an air conditioner up top. And uh, the hitch size, uh, I'm, I'm sure it matches. If it doesn't, then I would just get a different stall hitch. Um, once again, this car is not supposed to tow anything at all, okay? So you just got to put that out of your mind, all right? Uh, it's no longer under warranty. Sure, that's not safe, uh, but neither is standing at Starbase alone all the time. That's not safe either. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> thanks, everybody, for, for listening. So I just want to give you just a rundown. This has a freshwater connection, meaning that I can um, attach a hose to it and spray myself off. I could technically do an outdoor shower if I needed. Um, let's see the tire. Okay, one more time. Let's see. Type travel trailer. Uh, the, the model is, if somebody wants to look this up or put it in the chat for me, the model is 20 Bushwhacker. Here, let me do this. 20 Bushwhacker with a W-H-A-C-K-E-R plus, Bushwhacker plus, I guess. Um, so that's what that is, manufactured in Indiana. These are the tire pressures. Uh, like I said, it's got some beefy tires on it, which is great. I'm not sure it has a spare tire What's under here. Oh, it does, it has a spare tire. Oh my gosh, that's great. Uh, these are, this is the black water connection, um, and then, oh wait, wastewater. Okay, this is the, oh, one of these is the, this is the gray water, obviously it's gray, and then this is the black water. So this is for sewage, this is for the spray water, which is like shower water. Uh, here is manufacturing thing again. I think she said she's used it a total of maybe uh, six times maybe, maybe less. Uh, so it, it's it's like a relatively new trailer. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is, hot. Uh, and then also there's city water connection. So this could be at a trailer park, uh, just like here. I can I can hook it up to um, water, fresh water, so that I can shower with fresh water. Uh, this looks like it is the hot water heater. I'm assuming it's propane based. 
which means that that small propane tank in the front is what's going to heat that. So uh, that's something I'll need to take into consideration or I'll just, can, you know, cold showers are, they are what they are. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm looking at right now. And I um, normally, like I said, I, I would, yeah, I, I'm, I will Google it. I will do the pricing and stuff, but right now I just need y'all support. Uh, I want y'all to hear what I have to say in terms of the value that this would add to my mental health and well-being, as well as my ability to travel around and show you different things outside of Starbase when other people are covering Starbase. Um, not that I don't want to be there, but I've been, it's been over a year and a half now, and um, I need I need a change every once in a while. So. This is what it looks like from the side. This is what it looks like from the back. Uh, I have considered possibly needing to trade in my car and get something a little bit bigger, a bigger SUV. Uh, I don't want to because I want to go electric, but I just am not at that level of income yet, obviously. So um, I've been, I, I really, really um, really want to do this what's up uh, Cybertruck what model is this uh, if you back up just a little bit Cybertruck um, I gave all of the specs and everything and um, bye Holly see you thank you for stopping by also it looks like we had another super chat thank you thank you thank you let's see who it was thinking AI thank you so much for that five US dollars super chat I appreciate it so so much um, once again this is uh, an RV travel trailer, and this would only be for travel and for sleeping and for carrying Mars, my kitty, with me. Cybertruck's on board. He likes this idea. I like this idea. Um, I really, really appreciate the support. I really need the support. Um, moral support is really important. Uh, these come down for support both of these, both sides. Um, as you can see, it's, it's like a perfect fit right there. Thank you for putting the Patreon in the chat shard. Uh, hi, Uncle Yukon. Piper Zal is here as well. Let's see. Uh, la, la, la. And then uh, the golf carts are part of it. That's not anything related here. It does have an outlet outside. Not that I would necessarily need that, but if I do bring Starlink, then I could plug it in right there. Obviously, this is storage. And yeah, so um, I'm not sure what's on top. I think that might be an antenna up there of some sort. And then there's the air conditioner. So yeah, uh, thank you for, for being here and listening. Sylvan says, I hear you and understand you. Jessica Kirsch, thanks for telling and gives me a hug. That makes me feel really heard. Thank you. Um, also, next couple of days are going to be a little rough. I did fly to Phoenix to get my psychiatric medication. Something happened where they did not call in my antidepressant medication. They actually canceled it. I called the pharmacy this morning and I'm out of it. So I'm going to be very emotional. Uh, what happens when my depression um, picks up? If anybody is not familiar with what uh, depression is. I have major depressive disorder, which sounds worse than it is. It just means lifelong depression, chronic depression. It never goes away. Uh, it goes in spurts. Um, but it's very important that I take the antidepressant every single day. And when I miss a day, or if I miss two days, um, it takes, it needs to be in your system for at least like two to three weeks for it to be it constant, okay, so it's going to throw me off. I'm going to have an, a challenging next couple of days, so I'm just going to let you know right away. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be the Jessica that you, you know so well, um, unfortunately, but I will get that taken care of. Uh, you take it every day. Thank you so much. So if you hear me talking really fast and my anxiety is picking up uh, because of the, of the depression, um, 
generalized anxiety disorder is something else I have and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is also something I have. Those are, uh, they, they call them like they go, they all go together. Okay. So like if you have one, it's very likely that you have maybe another or multiple and stuff like that. Also, um, these are things that I haven't been diagnosed with autism and everyone says it like, yeah, we're all somehow on the scale of autism, but I have read autism in females. Those three things, the disorders that I've been diagnosed with are um, typical symptoms of a person with autism on the spectrum, but autism goes undiagnosed because they're diagnosed with the other things and then they're masked with medication or whatever. So just wanted to let you know that's what's going on there. So I'm just blurting stuff out. Oh. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so here we are. This is something I am going to do. Uh, if it's this trailer or another trailer, I'm not exactly sure. Hi, Anna, good to see you. Sorry if I'm in your way. <laughs> um, but this is something that I, I've got to do for myself. Um, once again, I will not be selling my main trailer. It will stay here for the time being. Like I said, I need to have a home base. Um, security, a, 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 a home that is, that is mine and paid for other than the rent. I have to pay the rent, right? Um, I need to have that security. I've, I've got it. I'm not going to get a loan either. So I'm just letting you know this is, these are my thoughts. This is something I've been brainstorming about, something I've been talking with a lot of friends about. And um, it's going to happen. I'm going to have to, not have to, I will make it happen. Um, I will earn the money. And, uh, uh, um, it really cool. So yeah, um, before I head to Starbase today and get first, I'm going to stop at Subway and get a Subway sandwich. I have not been to the grocery store. Uh, I've been out of town, um, but I'm going to get a big foot long Subway sandwich and eat half of it for breakfast. And then the other half I will eat for dinner because I'm assuming today will be a long day. Tomorrow at Starbase, I'm hearing that there is a planned, I think, uh, wet dress rehearsal, so full wet dress rehearsal. So stay tuned for a live stream for that. Uh, lots of lots of excitement supposedly coming this week at Starbase. Uh, so you're going to want to stay tuned. You're go going to want to hit the notification bell. Also, make double check that you're subscribed to the channel. Um, people have been telling me that they are not subscribed, but they're not receiving notifications. Uh, if you're not receiving notifications, this could be related to. Uh, you having accidentally turned off notifications in your browser. Uh, maybe you've done turned it off in your phone. Uh, maybe you've turned it off for the YouTube app. I've done it all the time. So make sure you're subscribed. Also, we've got 55 people. We've got 35 thumbs up. If we could hit that so it makes, we could do the, the thumbs up so, and make them, oh, we just went down a, a thumbs down, 35. There we go. Thank you for hitting it, hitting it again. What do you think about something this size? I'm just kidding. I think that's for a motorcycle. <laughs> if I could fit in it with Mars safely and breathe, then I totally would. Anna Garcia, love you, girl. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for the support. Thank you for saying that you hear me and you understand. Um, even if you don't really understand, but you hear me, the words coming out of my mouth, that means more to me than than I can explain. So, uh, yeah, it might be a little cramped, says Richard. That's right. Yes. All right. One last look. Stewie. Yep. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thanks again for all who sent over super chats. Also, people have been donating on PayPal, and that is not going unnoticed. Um, thank you so much. Uh, Patreon as well. Y'all are still helping pay the bills and uh, channel memberships are still, um, I, I have taken them away. If you are, were a channel member, and I'm sorry, I saw 
Shard and Nick Level talking about how they had reached 14 months or 16 months. I'm so sorry to have cut that off. I didn't even think about that when I turned them off. Um, but I came to a realization that I need to reconsider the pricing and um, also not just the pricing, but the value that I'm bringing to channel members. I also need to design some emojis that are different. So they differentiate the tier of member that you are uh, to provide, to, to differentiate who is, you know, for, who has, is a higher member, who is a, a base level member. I need to do that. Um, I also, there's just a lot. So for now, um, channel memberships have been disabled. This month is going to have no channel membership income. Typically, it's right around $300 of channel membership income that I, I will not receive. Uh, last month, it was $345, which is a big deal. Uh, I think that is before YouTube takes out 30 to 40%. So it really is, let's see, so let's just say three. 350 so 50 divided by two is what, 175 so 175 40 uh, percent of 175 sorry so it would be like 155 160 bucks that comes from channel memberships that i will be missing out on um but we'll make it work and uh everything's possible ahoy spin okay I love you all. Thank you, moderators. I love you all so much. It's a great time. I've got to go eat and then calm down and then uh, deal with the Starlink situation and a couple other things and kind of get my emotions under control. But love you all. Jessica Kirsch coming to you live from Brownsville, Texas. Today's date is Sunday. January 22nd, 2023. So we are coming up on the end of January. Be safe. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, sending virtual hugs. There's a curse rant. Hopefully tomorrow my antidepressant will be called into the pharmacy. I'll start taking that again. Level out the whatever is missing in my brain. Uh, and then, yep. Next month, I'll fly back to Phoenix and yep. Anyways, so uh, can't wait to see what's up at Star Race with you later. Thanks so much, I appreciate that. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, everybody. Uh, see you all a little bit later today, okay? So make sure you have those notifications turned on. Um, or also, if you want to follow me on Twitter at Jessica underscore Hirsch, I will hopefully be posting. When I go live, Nick Level is really good, and also Shard Baby is really good about posting when I'm gone live or going live. So, also follow them on Twitter. Uh, two of my moderators, they are great supports. All my moderators are, but okay. With that said, I'm going to go. Love you too, and um, see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. Mwah.